beach scene. At the seaside in Versilia, you and I sat on the sand with the seashells we collected. Bugles and fans and blue black mussels, sea potatoes and seaweed washed ashore. These were our props, our beach toys. The creative sea was our garden. We dug up the sand with our hands or used sticks, the bark peeling smooth as bone. We built the Great Wall of China, highways and roads all covered with shells, and dug deep, deep holes that touched the sea beneath us. We played silently as two children, the sparks of sun on the sea that watched us and gurgled with the sound of the waves. And then you interrupted us, the man with the wallet in his pocket that pulses like a tongue and beats a tune that goes like this. If it isn't bought, it isn't real. And despite our protests, you announced that you would get us a pail and shovel for one of the miscellaneous shops along the road. After an hour, you came back with a big plastic shopping bag and a cigar between your fingers. You spilled the beach toys on the sand, a red pail with blue and white stripes, a red shovel, a red rake, obscene and blaring, aliens or burlesque women. They disturbed our play and we became erratic. We demolished the Great Wall, the highway with the red rake and the red shovel, a cataclysm in the defeated evening. The sea ignored them, reclaiming the shells and the sticks. The sea ignored and erased the human footprint with five toes, leveling it with the sand as the flaps of the waves spilled over. <laughs> 